No, I can't speak for a caregiver or a parent or a aid or anything like that for what they go through when they take care of a person with dis a disability. I'm sure it's very difficult. Um, I, I don't know their aspect of the story and I know it can be exhausting for them and frustrating for them at times. And I'm sure it's exhausting for family members and all that stuff. But like I said, um, I did not choose to have cerebral palsy. Um, I had a stroke when I was a baby. And I have absolutely no control on the fact that I have cerebral palsy. Ooh, it's just the cards that I've been dealt, but I'm very, very thankful for my family and friends who have supported me my whole entire life, and I don't know what I would do without them, um, but I'm very, very thankful that I have this amazing remodel in my parents' house um, that has made life completely um, easier for myself and my parents, my sisters, my brothers, whoever takes care of me. It makes life extremely easy. And like I said, with cerebral palsy, you can, it can vary. You can be, you can have a stroke and be in a wheelchair your whole life or you can walk with a limp or you can not talk. I'm just thankful that I was given the power to talk and tell people what I need and what I want. And even though my legs don't work, that can I'll be honest, that can be frustrating at times, but it's all I know, and I don't know any different, um, and I've, over the years, I've gone through a lot of physical therapy, um, a lot of surgeries, a lot of, a lot of things, but that's, like I said, that's all I know, but I'm very, very thankful for my family to help me um, do my shower routine, get me dressed in the morning, um, help me with everything pretty much. And I don't know what I would do without them. And even though I have cerebral palsy, I enjoy hanging out with friends. I enjoy going to concerts. I enjoy my job. Um, I enjoy, um, doing speaking engagements. I enjoy volunteering for fundraisers. I do a lot of volunteering at my church in the summer. Um, so I keep myself pretty, pretty busy. And, um, I, like, my friends know how to drive my van, so they come up come out and pick me up and we do things, go out to dinner, go to the movies, um, go to concerts, all the things. Um, so cerebral palsy doesn't stop me as a human being. Like, I, I don't, I, I don't feel sorry for myself. I feel very grateful and thankful that I have this disability to make an impact on people and talk to people about um, cerebral palsy and what cerebral palsy is. Um, I enjoy the fact that I um, can, I have the ability to still live in my parents' house and I'm thankful for um, for them, 
for letting me live in in their house as long as I can because um that I've had some caregivers in the past that um that just I felt like they didn't really want to like bond with me or have a relationship with me and I I feel like my family and my friends um, they understand my story more so I really really appreciate um their support and I'm not gonna lie I've had nice caregivers in the in the past and I appreciate that and that helps um when they're when caregivers are nice because it means that, that they understand your story and they understand what what you're going through and that you can actually talk to them what you're feeling or if you're having like a bad day or whatever but some caretakers just don't like don't take the time to um get to know the client like other caretakers do and I feel bad for people with disabilities um that don't have family support um and have to rely on those caretakers and I'm sure it's very very hard um because you you just don't know what you're walking into and um but like I said before it's very very nice to talk to your friends that have cerebral palsy and so if you're having a bad day you can just like call them and be like dude I'm going through like a bad day just talk to me or, or like say something funny so I what I do when I have those moments I just call my friend Andy and he makes me laugh so and he has cerebral palsy as well so um his is a little milder than mine but I always like talk to him and like and he like gets it or whatever so we like we support each other and and that's the way it should be when people that don't experience CP fully it's nice to like talk to people that actually understand like what you're going through because it's difficult at times but you always have to have that positive attitude um, on you all, all the time and even when I'm struggling I try to remain positive a hundred percent of the time um, but like I said I um, I'm very thankful for the fact that I have a voice and I can speak for people that can't so have a great day guys and I'm sorry if this video is long but I just have a lot to say so have a great day and I will see you in my next video and don't forget to like subscribe and stay positive guys thanks bye